Here we have Aaron's mech, which looks pretty nice. You know, it's a fairly standard mech to the size class of Ninjago. Doesn't quite have the ugly back because of the, you know, connection to the other mech and get this weird little blue peg that sticks out, but so, you know, what are you gonna do about that? You get these little nice arms, same kind of Set number 71469 Nightmare Shark Ship. Thick. Thankfully, flat. Sticker sheet, which is nice. And it's, you know, not too big, so good times. Before it gets all, you know, completely sealed in. Do get this nice little nice little cage or prison. Looks like a nice little bed in there. I also get this nice little sticker piece. It's supposed to be some sort of, you know, little television screen. Good old nightmare king on there. Looking all snazzy. But yeah. You know, a little, little prison. A little television or, you know, painting or something in there. You also get a good little anchor coming out of the future mouth, which is pretty awesome. You can turn this and it goes down. Back up. But yeah, before it gets, you know, Sealed in there and you can't see. Here we have Nova. Looks pretty nice. Very nice, you know, pajamas with a little sleeping sloth on there. But yeah, that's, that's about it. You know, but still looks good. Here we have Snivel. Looks pretty nice. You know, same kind of standard little little body. Does have a nice little print there on the front. Also use that those big fig heads. Very toothy look there. Does come with a big old sword and you know, a bit of a flame for a head. But yeah, looks good. Really built the top part of the shark's mouth here. Looks pretty nice. A little bit of the front of the ship. Now when you turn this little knob on the side, it'll actually open and close the shark's mouth, which is pretty neat. Looks, you know, better in person, but you get the idea. You also get the built this tail on the end of the ship, which does move up and down here, and this part moves all about. But yeah, it's, you know, it's a tail on a ship. It's pretty neat. Here we have the Nightmare King. Looks really nice. Pretty much the same as we've seen before. Same kind of, you know, torn up ghostly cape and does come with this very nice kind of dual molded translucent sword with a little eyeball in there. Still with a very nice crown piece, as always, and his kind of, you know, zombie face under there. But yeah, he looks good. Here we have our, I guess, you know, completed base mode of our giant shark ship. Do get a nice little light on the front side, still got that little. You know, a post that's, you know, used to be a sword, but now works for that. You also built the this little cabin area in the back. Very nice wheel up there, a little, I guess, thrown area for the Nightmare King. Some more, more little lanterns and little guardrails here and there. Windows, more little spiky little teeth there. Look at these nice little cannons in the front with the stud shooters. Which also work on the other side as well. They do sp spin around fairly easily. They do kind of stop when they hit, you know, this this thing, but 
You know, so take one of your little, these little minions there and they can use the cannon and shoot people, I guess. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much was the last little bits that were added, but you can also take off the cabin part fairly easily. It's not really, not really attached to it attached to anything. Just, you know, up here. You also get a little treasure chest in there, which will pop out if you press down on that thing. And it, you know, sort of comes out. And you can open it to hopefully open it. Just a couple little gold bars in there, which is nice. But, you know, you can just stick it in there and store it away. Put your shark ship there. Then you can take a closer look at your cabin, which once it detached will open up on both sides, revealing some little hourglass in there, a couple of guns, crossbow, you know, fork. You also have a place to, place to put the captured bone shoe right there, which is nice, but then you can, you know, close it on up. You can take your good old Nightmare King here, put him back here on the back side, hopefully. Which he doesn't want to cooperate with. There we go, that's kind of good. His keep kind of gets in the way back here because of the confined space, which is... A little disappointing, but here we go. Nice and charged, and then you can easily take your cabin and a little hole back here. You can reattach it. And then there you go. Good old shark ship. Now it's time to, I guess, soup this thing up. Completed, or I guess souped up shark ship, which now you have these these big old engines on the side, some weird creepy eyes in there, it's very nice translucent little I guess, engine blast, little lightning, these big old I guess old old power miner wheels, the drill pieces that are now part of the engine, which do spin around. I don't know if they're supposed to, but they do. Got this little. I guess intake there, a little, little fin in the front which can move down and back up again, which is nice. You know, it's just on one of those little ball joints that you can flail around. Good old anchor getting in the way. And the other side's exactly the same. We just get two of these and two of these. You also get this big old fin on the front side and it's fin on the back side as well that's pretty hard to see but you can you know you can kind of see it there there you go this thing's quite hard to handle all put together because it's a lot of little fragile pieces and these little rib pieces aren't really good to hold on to either so it's not the best to you know, I guess handle. I can. The best you can do is just hold it like this, and then hope you don't mess the thing up. You also get this little eyeball in there, which kind of closes off that cabin area. And it just, it just sort of sits there. It's not really attached to anything. Yes, these little claws are just the best thing that's holding it in. But it just sits there and has little, or little, I guess, weird claw pieces in there, but. You just sort of, they just have to sort of have you stick it in there and then sort of put that on top. So it's not really attached, so if you get too rough with it, it's probably just going to fall out. So, you know, it's something to keep in mind. But, you know, overall, this looks nice. It's really, it's a really nice ship. It's part of a very nice villains, villains line. 
for dreams. But yeah, it's not the most, I guess, you know, swooshable thing. It's because it's very, it's very hard to handle. A bunch of little fidgety pieces, but you know, it looks really cool. So if you want a big old, I guess, shark ghost pirate ship thing, it's probably the set for you. Plus, you know, it looks, it's gonna look really good next to all the other villains. Here we have Izzy. It looks pretty nice. I don't think there's a really new look for her, but you know, she does have that very nice translucent hair and comes with a very nice sword. It does come with the waist cape, which I guess now she can't sit down, but it does complete the look, so totally worth it. Here we have Susan. It looks, you know, nice as always. Very nice. Translucent wings on that big old backpack. Kind of ghostly head with the horns. Comes with the trademark fork. And, you know, the standard, I guess, printed little minion chest and multi eyed head, but, you know, overall, she looks good. Here we have Mateo. It looks, you know, Looks good as always. Nothing too exciting about this Mateo. I think we've seen this version multiple times. You know, pencil weapon and, you know, hair and does have that little, I guess, cape. He also comes with one of those little Z blob leases that, you know, is attached to a, one of those green web pieces so he can, I guess, swing Z blob around, I guess. But yeah. Mateo. There you go. Plus, if you get, you know, a bunch of these guys from all the various sets that they've had over the over the year, you can really, I guess, fill this thing up with these little minions, which that'll be fun. So yeah, good times. So there you go. Got a bunch of those little minions on there now. Manning the ship. They're kind of hard to place though with holding their weapons because they're, you know, comically oversized, but, you know, still looks good with a bunch of these little guys out, guys running around there. So yeah. There you go. Now it has a crew. Remember, don't forget about, you know, the show. You should watch that thing. It's pretty good. You also get a look at some of their sets from this wave. Good old Slender Man and Robot and other robot. Nice house, space bus. All very exciting stuff. I was gonna look at some of the other sets. You know, Turtle Van and Nightmare Horse, Crocodile, Shark Ship, Treehouse. All very exciting stuff. Congratulations, you did it. You built a shark ship. Or maybe you built a shark tank.